we just got asked to do lots of things together. So we and we didn't even call ourselves the Huxleys. People would say, "Oh, the Huxleys are here." Who are these Huxleys? Like, <laughs> so it just, everything just happened. It wasn't really planned. When we started making art, no art places took us seriously. We tried to show and get galleries to represent us and tried to get the art community behind us and no one was interested. And we were just like, we love doing this enough that we're just gonna put it out into the world. And we kept making things on our own, funding our own projects, doing it because we loved it. And eventually people catch up with you. And, you know, a lot of people ask us, do you, do you make your own things? And we're like, where else would we find these? And I think by the fact that you're not trained or neither of us are trained in is, is a good thing because it allows you to dream bigger. Otherwise you might say that can't be created. You're not confined by any rules and you have, you make things that other people be like, oh, you can't do that. And you just find a way. So you just do it. And I've had, um, fashion designers look at my work and go, how did you do this? Or how do you get into it? You know, I'm like, oh, well, <laughs> you know, this way and that way. But you do, you just don't have any rules in your head. Garrett and I decided to make a series of work called Postcards from the Edge. And these were postcards from the eras and the places that we grew up in. So Garrett's are from the Gold Coast and mine are from Perth. And we went on this journey where we tried to find and source postcards from the era and the places that, exactly places that we were in as children. Yeah, and by taking yourself back to that time as you are now, it, it also, I felt the same as, you know, when I was 12 in that situation, even though I wasn't, you know, painted in green glitter and had wigs, I felt like that. You know, I completely felt like that. So it was a nice, uh, you know, it was nice bringing those two worlds together. And one thing that we did that was nice with the postcards is there's a, a two postcards called uh, Small Town Boy Perth and Small Town Boy Gold Coast, where we actually meet uh, and we're joined by a sequin string of heart between us. And it was our idea that wouldn't it have been wonderful if we had actually met from those places and it's a way of us coming together. We did a, a thing together maybe five years ago, it was called People of Letters. And um, we wrote letters from the time when we were struggling growing up in these places to each other, uh, like dreaming of each other. And it was so beautiful because it was um, just like the idea that you could have someone that would make you feel okay for who you were at that time. And like if I'd met Garrett when I was in school, I think my life would have been a lot easier. <laughs> and that was something that, yeah, I just, and it's been nice since we've met each other and been together, we go back to Perth and the Gold Coast and, you know, in a place that you used to get yelled at, you know, for being gay, called poor for whatever, you know, people are like, oh, I like your outfit or I'm like, okay, <laughs> this is a nice, you know, things are changing, which is really beautiful. The idea of masking is fascinating to me because it creates this almost anonymous, we could be anyone or anything underneath that mask and it gives the sense of freedom. For me, I love the idea that it takes away, you know, wearing costumes that hide your identity, takes away gender and takes away race and class and all these things that we're divided and put into binaries. And once you become this creation, it's so freeing. And I couldn't get up and perform as Will Huxley. It would be terrifying. But when I'm up in an amazing costume and makeup and wigs, it, it, it this creates this diversion that allows me to be the most fantastical, escapist version of myself possible. It gives me the confidence. Yeah, I think wearing the mask came from n not wanting to be seen first, so hiding behind the mask, because I grew up very shy and still am quite shy and introverted. And it was, I find it more interesting to look at as well. I find something like that more interesting, but it just, you develop something in you, you find a power or something that isn't you. It's a freedom, you escape from this, all these constraints on yourself. So there is something really liberating about performing, um, not as yourself, but as these characters. 
that you've created in a way, but it's still you, you know. <laughs> in costume generally has always interested me, even like people, military or, or any kind of costume, you're putting on something to go out in the world and do I, do a, a role or be something that you're maybe not when you're at home. Or... Well, that's interesting. When we make our costumes, we don't know who's going to pop out in a way. And it's just so interesting. Like you think, oh my God, I can't believe I'm this frantic character inside this costume. Didn't expect this. And yeah, the latest ones, we know something's going to happen. We put the latest costumes on and we're like, oh, this is slow. You know, these are slow kind of graceful people that are happening at the moment. It's really, it, it's exciting. We like the, we call it from page to stage. <laughs> we love the, the, um, the drawings that we do when we come up with an idea are so basic. When neither of us are very good drawers, I'm particularly bad. But they're like childlike drawings of, um, you know, either like a photographic scene or a costume. And the, it, it's amazing when you, you take that childlike drawing and then bring it into a reality. I love that transformation. And the costumes are often, they end up looking they look really- like the, the pictures, it's <laughs> really weird. <laughs> the pictures, but like a, a heightened glamorous version. Um, and it's a really, yeah, I love seeing the contrast between those two things and your dream and then the reality you've made. And you just, yeah, it's, it's, I think that is one of the great thrills for me seeing when it comes to life. Uh, when you, yeah. And in between that, there's a lot of frustration and tears and this isn't going to work. Yeah, there's a lot of, <laughs> there's a lot of failures, trial and error, you know.